So now how do you actually do this when you are given a large matrix, right? So you are given a large matrix A, x equal to B. So remember what we want is blocked algorithms because we want our algorithm to be cache efficient. So we want to use blocking, right? Because this is going to involve order n cube operations. The data size is only n square but the number of operations is n cube. So I want to use a blocked algorithm in order to make efficient use of the cache. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this as follows. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to decompose A equal to LU. What is A? A is a full matrix and if I just write all these matrices in the blocked form, this is what they will look like and of course these entries will be 0 and here these entries will be 0, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this matrix in the following form. I'm going to look at this block, I'm going to call it A00, alright? I'm going to call this sub matrix. This is not a B by B block, right? So if this is an N cross N matrix, this block is B cross B. What is the size of this sub matrix? It's B cross N minus B, right? I'm going to call this A01, okay? And I'm going to call this sub block as A10, right? So what is the size of this? N minus B cross B. And this remaining sub matrix I'm going to call A11. This is of size N minus B cross N minus B. All right. So these are not sub matrices of equal size. Right? It's just I'm carving out a B cross B block at the corner. Similarly, I'm going to break this matrix into L00. I don't need to have a name for this thing because this is going to be zeros. This part I'm going to call L01 and this is going to be L11. Similarly, this is U00, U01, sorry, uh, this is L10, L11. This is U00, U01 and this part I'm going to call U11, okay? So let me just uh, rewrite this for you. So this is how I'm viewing the matrices. A00, A01, A10, A11, L00, L10, L11, this is zeros. U00, U01, U11 and this is zero, okay? So let me just uh, write out the equations that we get. So what is A00? So multiply the first uh, row of L with the first column of U, right? So what do I get? L00 multiplied by U00 gives me A00. What happens if I multiply the top part of L with the right part of U? I get L00 times U01 is equal to A01. Now let me multiply the lower part of L with the left part of U. So what do I get? L10 times U00 gives me A10 and finally L10 U01 plus L11 U11 gives me A11. Alright, so now we are going to talk about the algorithm the blocked algorithm to do LU factorization, okay? So here's how I do it. So the first thing I do is, I do this step. Compute L00 and U00 by factorizing A00 equal to L00, U00. Okay, how do I do this? I can do this sequentially. So what are the exact steps? We saw that on the previous slide, right? What we saw over here 
this entire thing was how you do the LU factorization, right? The only thing is that we are not doing it for an entire matrix, we are just doing it for a block. So A is 0, 0, I'll, I pick up a B by B block and I factorize it. I do the LU factorization of that, right? I get L00, U00. Now that I have L00 and U00, I can compute U01. I know that A01 is equal to L00, U01 and U is upper triangular. So let's look at this in a little more detail. What's happening over here? So A01 is equal to, so I have a matrix block A, this is B cross B. This is A, this is equal to L which is lower triangular times U which is a full matrix. Right? U01 is not upper triangular, right? U00 is upper triangular, U01 is full, right? Because the entire U matrix is upper triangular. So the U01 part is full. All right, so this is what I have to solve. How do I solve this? A little while ago, we learned how to solve Lx equal to B, where L was lower triangular. So a lower triangular matrix times a vector is equal to another vector. We just learned how to do that. So what happens if I have another set of vectors so the same lower triangular matrix, but if I have another set of vectors to solve, I can just append it to this column, right? So L times x1, x2, these are two different vectors and I get b1, b2 and I can solve for them, right? Because what is the product of this lower triangular matrix times the first column? That will give you the first column of A, right? This lower triangular matrix times the second column will give you the second column of A and so on. We have already seen how to do Lx equal to B, right? That's just back substitution. So here you're just doing back substitution on a set of vectors together, okay? Actually, what was this operation? This operation was, we called it TRSV, triangular solve with a vector. This operation is called, a, called TRSM, triangular solve. with a matrix on the right hand side, okay? So these are standard operations. So you will find them in all linear algebra libraries. Okay, so what is the point? The point is I know how to solve this. A01 is equal to L00, U01. What is the size of A01 here? It's not B cross B. Instead, it is of the form B cross N minus B. This is equal to B cross B matrix. This is B cross N minus B times a, okay? So how do we do this? I know how to do TRSM. This is lower triangular, right? But this is just uh, loads of vectors. I can just split this into blocks of B cross B and this also into blocks of B cross B. And this is nothing but this lower triangular matrix times this first block and the second block is nothing but this lower triangular matrix times the second block and so on, right? So I can do these block by block. All right, so let's come back to the algorithm. So I computed U01 by doing a triangular solve matrix, right? A01 is equal to L00, U01, all right? And now I can also compute L10. Right, because A10 is equal to L10 U00. U00 is upper triangular. So this is again the same operation. Triangular matrix solve. Okay, just that instead of a lower triangular matrix, I have an upper triangular matrix. So what have I computed so far? I computed L00 and U00 in the first step. I computed U01 in the second step, L10 in the third step. Now what am I left to compute? L11 and U11, right? So let me use this last equation. So what do I have? I have A11 is equal to L10, U01 plus L11, U11. I can rewrite L11, U11 is equal to A11 minus L10, U01. So I've already computed L10 and U01, right? So I can multiply them and subtract that from A11. 
okay. So, what is this operation? This is matrix multiply. I am simply multiplying two matrix. We have already seen how to parallelize that, right? How to do that in a blocked manner and how to parallelize it. So, I subtract from A11 L10 times U01. What do I get? I get a new matrix. Let us call it A11 prime. And A11 prime is nothing but L11 U11 in my original notation. So, how do I get L11 U11? Well, I have got a matrix A11 prime which is supposed to be L11 U11. Now, how am I going to get L11 U11? Recursively do the same thing over again. At this step, update A11. After updating, I am calling it A11 prime. And finally, recursively solve A11 prime equal to L11 U11. And that is going to give me the next set of blocks and so on until I get the entire L and U, all right. So, this is the blocked algorithm to do LU factorization, okay. And how can we parallelize it? So, let us just quickly see, I am not going to write any OpenMP programs over here, but uh, let us just quickly see how we would parallelize this. So, the first operation, let me just do it sequentially. This is not the bottleneck of the code. Where is the bottleneck of the code? This update A11 is the most expensive part. So, let me assume that I have very large matrices, right? Because if there are small matrices, it is not so interesting, right? You are not so interested in speeding them up using parallelism and so on, right? You are only interested when you have huge matrices. And in most simulation of most scientific problems, you are dealing with huge matrices, okay? So, this is definitely a bottleneck. This is the biggest bottleneck. Why? Because this is a full matrix multiply and this involves n minus b cube operations, right? The, the next level you would want to optimize steps 2 and 3. Step 1 is just a b by b and a b by b decomposition of a b by b, so it is too small in the whole scheme of things, okay? So, I do not mind writing this part sequentially. Let me write it sequentially. I explained all the steps over here, right? How to decompose a equal to lu using Gaussian elimination. How can I parallelize steps 2 and 3? Can steps 2 and 3 happen in parallel? Yeah, both of them are dependent on what? I need L00 here and I need U00 here and both of them are computed in step 1. So, I have both of them. So, there is no other dependency between step 2 and step 3. So, I can just do them in parallel, right? And even when I do them in parallel, as I said, right, we can divide each of these into smaller blocks and just work on one block at a time. Just distribute this to the threads, right? So, in OpenMP, I would divide this b cross n minus b block into b by b blocks, lots of b by b blocks and just in an array use a hash pragma OMP4 and divide them to threads or maybe use tasks and just divide them, distribute this work to different threads. And finally, for step 4, that is matrix multiply. We already know how to do that. Right, you divide it into lots of b by b blocks and you do blocked matrix multiply. And then you recursively go and solve it. Okay? So, that is uh, LU factorization and solving a system of linear equations in parallel. All right? that, that's how it is actually implemented. In most scientific or high performance computing codes that you will see on the net, this is how it is implemented. 